This is going to be uh, the conclusion of our conference, except for the Washington Declaration that Oleg is going to read. And where is Oleg? He is going to present the... the... Oh, yes. Okay. Rajana, please come here, sit down, read the Declaration. And uh, we have some wonderful gifts here from the Circassian, uh, from the Circassians, and we're going to um, to enjoy them in a second. Thank you. The Washington Declaration. From the heart of the free world in Washington D.C., we representatives of national liberation, regional and anti-colonial movements still occupied by Moscovia, the last colonial empire in Europe, together with all supporters of free nations, declare. The misnamed Russian Federation is transforming itself from an authoritarian into an imperial totalitarian state. The captive nations and regions seeking freedom from Moscow must decide on what modes of liberation they will pursue ranging from non-violent protests to armed resistance. We, therefore, call on all supporters of freedom and independence to coordinate with each other, whether to form citizens' groups, national committees, or guerrilla units, as with previous national and regional movements that liberated themselves from the Moscovite Empire. This will propel forward the process of Russia's rupture and dissolution in the territories of captive nations and colonized regions still occupied by the Kremlin, including Bashkortostan, Sakha, Ingria, Tatarstan, Circassia, Siberia, Oirat Kalmykia, Buryatia, Karelia, Ingushetia, Kuban, Smalandia, Komi, Chuvashia, Skov, Tuva, Ural, Kakassia, Pomoria, Altai, Don, Udmurtia, Novgorod, and Kamchatka. It is urgently necessary to change our approach to the fraudulent Russian Federation as the military and political criminals who have ruled this failed state for more than 20 years have completely lost their legitimacy. Aggressive wars, acts of terrorism and genocide against Ichkeria, Georgia, Syria and Ukraine, as well as the colonial exploitation of the federal uh, so-called regions by Moscow require a radical change in policy toward the Kremlin, including its absolute political, diplomatic and cultural ostracism as well as a total economic and trade embargo. Any attempts at appeasement with Moscow should be abandoned, as they simply allow the Kremlin to rebuild its repressive capacities. Washington and its allies should refuse to recognize any zones of Moscow's influence as we free ourselves from narratives imposed by Kremlin propaganda about a unified and indivisible Russia. Attempts at de-escalation or normalization with Russia are self-defeating and weaken Western resolve, unity and capability. We therefore call for maximally proactive cooperation within the framework of a coalition of national liberation movements still inside the Russian Federation and neighboring states located outside, along the entire perimeter of its land and sea borders. The deoccupation of lands captured by Imperial Moscow from Crimea to Japan, as well as the transformation of the terrorist empire into independent post-Russian states, is the only way toward a lasting peace and a new global security architecture. What we ask from our partners among NATO and EU countries as representation is representation. Interaction and parity not only with those who hold a Moscow-centric view, 
and are devoted to the concept of a unified and indivisible Russia, but also with national and regional liberation movements, proponents of complete decolonization and independence from Moscow. We urge you to conduct an audit of the effectiveness and true motivation of projects, people, and organizations that have been supported for years, financially and otherwise, by institutions and foundations of the free world. Unfortunately, there are many signs that taxpayers' money from NATO and European Union countries is not being used to conduct, to combat um, the Kremlin's imperial regime, but is utilized to promote its interests and to eliminate all independent alternatives. A significant portion of the Moscow pseudo-liberal movement either remains under the control controlled of the Kremlin security services or operates on the same principles of maintaining the Russian Empire and neutralizing any independent movements calling for liberation from Russia. Any real and substantial changes within the territory of the fake Russian Federation are not possible without its complete and unconditional defeat in its genocidal war against Ukraine. Decolonization and de-imperialization of the territories of Northern Eurasia, as already confirmed by the decision of the European Parliament, will become a reality only in the context of the complete deoccupation and victory of Ukraine, which today is the bastion and a vanguard of the free world's fight against tyranny. <clears throat> Therefore, all kinds of assistance, military, financial, diplomatic, informational, material, must be provided to Ukraine in its fight for international law, peace and freedom, not only in full measure, but also without delay and without interruptions, typically caused by lengthy bureaucratic procedures which directly facilitate the continuation of Moscow's militarism and imperial expansion. The war criminals in the Kremlin do not act alone. Moscow has created an alliance of authoritarian and totalitarian states that act in coordination, including the uh, R, uh, that uh, Russian Federation uh, PRC, Iran, DPRK coalition, as well as several satellites and proxy regimes, Assad, Maduro, Lukashenko. It is of utmost importance to systemically counteract their disruptive activities, such as hybrid attacks, infiltrated agents, election interference, information wars using affiliated analytical centers, politicians vulnerable to bribery, corruption, and blackmail. All of their offensives threaten peace, international law, and basic human values from Guyana to Taiwan, from the Middle East to the Korean Peninsula, from Mali to the South China Sea. This effort requires our maximum cooperation and immediate action to prevent the transition from the still local acts of military aggression by the Moscow, Beijing, Tehran, Pyongyang alliance to a full-scale global war. If we do not help terminate the Muscovite empire, then over the coming years, we can expect a Russian attack on NATO countries, whether on one of the Baltic states, Poland, Romania, or Finland, a PRC attack on Taiwan, and a DPRK attack on the Republic of Korea or Japan. This will put, pull the US and its Western and Eastern allies into a major multi-regional war. Washington, District Columbia, April 16th, 2024. Thank you very much, Regina. And with this, 
We conclude our conference today. Uh, I invite all of the movements to sign the declaration and please come here for a joint photo.